right, so welcome back. And I'm about to go to this really old um, ice cream shop. And so it's to be really um, classic. And they have like one of the best flavors. I think it's the orange pineapple. And we'll see if we get that flavor. But um, we're just here in downtown. I think it's Muscle Shoals. And we're gonna see what else we can see. And I just parked here. And maybe we're gonna walk around for a little bit. And see what else there is. But we're definitely gonna go get ice cream. And so my friend had to work today. And all his sisters also had to work. And his family. And so we're just kind of exploring alone today. So let's go to the ice cream shop. So we're here at Throw Bridges. Throw Bridges and apparently it's been here since 1918. It's really old school and has like seating inside but I just came outside because there was like a bunch of people inside and I got like their famous orange pineapple and this is supposed to be like the ice cream flavor of Alabama and it tastes kind of like a creamsicle. And it has like pineapple chunks in it, but it doesn't really taste like pineapple. Okay, so it kind of tastes like a pineapple. Okay, so it tastes kind of like a creamsicle with little frozen pineapple chunks. And it's actually really good. And this is only like $1.92. I think I'm gonna walk around more and see what else I can explore even though I asked like if there was anything to see here and they said there's really nothing but um maybe today will just be an ice cream tour because I'm thinking about hitting up the palace which is in Florence and it's supposed to be like an old-school um, ice cream shop too All right, so this is actually like really creamy and delicious and like honestly the orange flavor is really good and not like overpowering but it has like this really nice creamy consistency and a very light like pineapple flavor and like it's interesting how they dye like the pineapple orange. And we're walking around and actually I like hit like this neighborhood. It says it's the Shannon's Historic District. So we're just gonna walk around here. Apparently the house is here from 1818. And they honestly look really nice. Okay, so we're like at the University of Alabama, of North Alabama, and look at this building. This is an admission building, it looks so cute. And there's like a bunch of other historical buildings over here. Hey guys, so today is our last day here. We're actually going from Alabama to Nashville, Tennessee because I'm flying out from Nashville because it was a little cheaper and it was really close. So we are driving up to Nashville and we're already in Tennessee, which was about like an hour and we have about another hour I think or maybe less and we're about to go it's approximately 8 47 says we're gonna get there like 11 only an hour to Tennessee from Alabama so we're already in Tennessee and we got another hour I think to get to Nashville and I'm flying out from Nashville and we are driving there and we really didn't really look up anything but I'm ready for some like southern cooking and like hopefully hit up like a honky tonk so we can go and see what that's all about and just walk kind of like downtown I think that it's called like Broadway and we are like driving over there and then I have to leave like around four-ish so I'm like there at the airport and we're gonna see what else there is and everything that Nashville has to offer we should have probably prepared a little more but we just kind of like are just going for it and definitely the first thing I want to do is go to like one of like the country cooking kind of like get some delicious soul food I think it's like called meat and three where it's like meat and you get like three sides we actually we went to one here in Alabama and it was actually really good. You get like everything. I think it's like you pick a, sa a three sides, one meat, and then you get like um, something to drink and dessert.
Okay, so we made it to Broadway, and there's a ton of honky-tonks all down the street, and there's so much music coming from every honky-tonk. It was hard to pick one, and there's honestly the top and the bottom both have different kinds of music. We ended up going to one and getting a couple of drinks and just hanging out and enjoying the live country music. The music on the roof had the nicest view and it had like kind of like a slower country music but the downstairs was definitely like a hardcore honky-tonk party and everyone was dancing. Then we ended up checking this place out. It had a gold statue on the inside and really beautiful on the outside. Hey guys, we are here in Alabama still and we kind of got our flight canceled so we are leaving actually I think tomorrow but they honestly didn't have a flight for um, two weeks. They were like if we try to um, fly out from here where we are in Alabama so we're going to fly out from Tennessee and have a honk and tonk and good time hopefully. Um, but yeah, we're, it's going to be a very long flight. I think I'm like a nine hour layover in Colorado. So that should be really fun. And then I wish someone was coming with me, but I'm going to be alone. So it's going to be an adventure for sure. And hopefully we do not miss a flight or something because I think I'm going to take a bus and walk around there. And we went to like this cute little ice cream shop called the Palace and unfortunately we didn't get like the full experience. We didn't get like the glass cups and everything. I think it's like 80 years old and I got like a chocolate cobbler ice cream sundae which was like I thought it was going to be like a chocolate pie but it was like kind of like brownie cake. It was like a brownie cake with ice cream. It was so good. And then this one over here got a chocolate sundae, hot fudge sundae. And yeah. Now we're trying to find some food. And a lot of things closed surprisingly at like two. So hopefully we can find something delicious. Going back home hopefully. And we tried to come back um, two days ago, but our flight got canceled and moved. And we tried to get a flight somewhere closer, but it was like there were no flights for two weeks. So then we got this flight and it was in two hours and 30 minutes that we had to drive. But um, my friend couldn't bring me, so his dad was going to bring me. And then he ended up having to work, so his stepbrother brought me at 2 in the morning. So I've been here since like 4 in the morning. My flight's not until 10. Actually, my flight's not until 11. It has like a 9 hour layover. And then I don't get home until like 1 in the morning. Which is like basically like the whole day. So we'll see how we do it. I got a couple of snacks. Well, these are cookies I bought. Well, candy. And then I got like a bag of chips and like salad and random stuff and um we're gonna be here like the whole day and then we're gonna be in denver colorado so we'll see what we do there because we actually have a nine hour layover there and i'm like so ready to go home there's like no one here in the airport which is very interesting but also we're here like way too early And I'll see if I go outside in Denver, Colorado because I have nine hours but I'm kind of nervous to go outside and like get lost or something or like I think I saw like there's like a free bus that takes you to like the mall or something and they also have like a place where you can store your luggage. I saw it was like $10 I think. I like currently have like just like this little luggage that I'm carrying. It's not too heavy, but it's just like bothersome to carry it. And then hopefully we can make it home. We get home so late. I honestly um, just took these. I got nervous and didn't even look at like the fact that this had such a long layover. And I think there were like other um, flights that I could have taken that were 
like not as early and would have gotten me there a lot faster but either way as long as we make it home and right now i'm just chilling here i think there's like a place with live music because it said that there's tootsie but i don't know where that is i know that's like one of the honky tonks in downtown tennessee and uh, maybe i'll just go walk around and try to find it or something i want to get some like hot tea or something just to like wake up i guess but um i wish i had little beds that'd be nice and i had like i like my salad salad earlier and i was like so this is so weird because everyone has their like mask on i'm like i don't know if i can take this off or not and earlier there was like a bunch of people in here because they all went to like i think new york and now it's like basically empty i think i'm gonna walk around and see what i can find and see what we can do hopefully get some hot tea i saw there's like a barbecue place but they didn't have drinks so i'm gonna go and see what we can find gosh been up since yesterday and i got here around well i started heading to the airport at two in the morning and i'm so tired i'm like ready to like take a long nap but we're just here in the airport waiting i think my flight is still in like four hours and we've been here forever um i said i was gonna walk around i got really lazy i took the little tram it's so big i think this is like one of the biggest airports it's like top three or top six in the u.s for biggest i think there's 297 terminals and there's like a b and c terminal and oh, i'm just waiting And I honestly can't wait to go home. And I said I was gonna walk around and stuff, but I just like bought food and now I'm just chilling. Just chilling and there's like kind of a view. I know online it said that there was like a really nice view on A32, but there really wasn't anything.